In this video, I'm going to show you the differences in brake mounts for uh, pedal bikes. The uh, disc brakes is what I'm talking about here. So, there are a couple different standards, I guess you can say, in the uh, disc brake mount world. Here is, this is called a post mount. So there's threads in here that is directly attached to the fork that the caliper bolts onto those threads and that's how it's held on. Uh, here is this mount right here or spacer you'd almost call it, but I call it a mount because it looks so close to the IS mounts here. So what this is doing is this post mount is probably a 160 millimeter post mount. That means for 160 millimeter discs, six inch, this is 185 millimeter or seven inch or so disc. So it needs that extra piece there. Now, sometimes the fork has longer post mounts that you don't need this and you can put a, uh, you can put a 203 millimeter, a set, uh, eight inch disc on it, just depending on the fork. Like if you get a downhill fork, usually they come, uh, if it's post mount, they come with a, you, the, the smallest you can go is 203 millimeters because they expect you to be downhilling on that fork and you need a big disc. So yeah, this is a uh, post mount that's called post mount with an adapter back here and over here. These are IS mounts, international, international standard mounts. So really it's, it's, it's IS to post, you call it. So there is no threads in the frame, but you can, you can get post mount on frames. It just, it really depends on the fork manufacturer and the frame manufacturer on what they did with that model. So this one is post in the front on the fork and IS at the back. So here I have an IS to post mount 160 millimeter because it's a 160 millimeter disc smaller on the back than it's front than the front. So sometimes they'll have markings saying what it can do. Like, like this one, it has 160 front 140 rear. So 140 millimeter disc on the rear a five inch and so on. Um, so yeah, you just, you gotta, you gotta watch when you go to buy mounts for your brakes, if they don't come with them or whatever, you gotta watch what you have and what you need. So yeah, this is international standard. I prefer this over post mount for the reason that post mount threads, if you strip them out in there for whatever reason, I don't know, over torquing, uh, maybe a 10 year old fork or something, you've changed the brake a bunch over years and they, it gets stripped out in there, you're screwed. There's not a whole lot you can do. Maybe you can re-thread it, re-tap it, and uh, put a bigger bolt in, but for the most part, you're, uh, you're screwed. And this is just a hole in the frame. I'll show you over here. When it's off the frame, it just looks like that. When the po when the, when there's no mount on it, it's just two holes like that. So those are, those are hard to break unless you snap the weld or something. But yeah, I, I personally prefer international standard mount IS, but you don't really have much choice when you buy a frame or fork. Uh, one downside to, uh, IS is that especially on if you have, if you're only running 160 or it's set up for the disc, you need it. Uh, you, you do add a bit of extra weight with this mount. Now it's, it's pretty light. Like we're talking grams, but it's, it's extra that you don't exactly need. But yeah, I was just, uh, wanted to explain that in a video. Thanks for watching.